Hello, great to be with you again. We're here at a venue that has a true soul, I think it's fair to say, Elland Road. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leeds United facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Number 43. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really Thanks. looking forward to seeing him play today. Have a great game. Thanks. Again. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Bye. Good luck. Cheers. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Good game. Good game. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Silva. Grealish. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Harrison. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Dallas. It might be on for them. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Ruben Diaz. Sterling. Now well, they get the ball once more. Rodrigo. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Difficult to stop him. Oh, what an opportunity! And thumped away. Crossing opportunity. Harrison. Excellent challenge. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Foden. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Koch. Rodrigo. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Really vital interception here. Harrison. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. 
take the lead here. Terrific piece of anticipation. Clears it away. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Chance to take the lead. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? De Bruyne. Sterling has it. Rodri. Foden. Chance to do damage. The ball with Rodri. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, we normally expect Raheem Sterling to make an impact, Stuart, but simply hasn't on the basis of this performance. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Mateusz Klich. And Rodrigo has it. And options in the centre. Getting the better of his opponent. But he knew he had to get to the ball and he did. Sterling. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Good technique displayed. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Rafinha. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Giving it a try. And what a magical save it was! There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Coming onto the pitch, number 23, Calvin Phillips. And he's fired over the corner. Not really the ideal clearance. Teammate available. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Phillips. Robin Koch. Calvin Phillips. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort.
Foden. Dangerous looking through ball. Foden. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Well, Leeds have seen more of the ball in the last 15 minutes, and their passing patterns have created numerous chances. They surely must extend their lead soon. And a throw-in it's going to be. A change in the offing for City. To be replaced by number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Walker. They've got it now, what can they do? Well, possibilities in the centre. Simple catch, really. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Rodrigo. A shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Substitution for Leeds United. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Daniel James. To be replaced by number 30. So almost at full time and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point and I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Rodrigo. That's a lovely ball. Has the strength to hang on to it. Harrison. That's excellent defending following the cross. And it comes down to the final five minutes. And he's in. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Calvin Phillips so three minutes of stoppage time it'll be Rafinha oh, a lovely incisive pass and the attack carried promise but petered out all even but will it stay that way the cross is on a deep delivery stage of the game it might be decisive and just look at their supporters well here it is again just look at the quality of the cross it's inch perfect and although he doesn't make the cleanest of contacts he still gets enough on it to take it beyond the keeper I think that's a very good goal City. 
And there it is. That brings this game to an end. Real disappointment for Leeds United and their fans. No points picked up. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Very much the organiser-in-chief, Kevin De Bruyne. What in particular did you see in this match from the talented Belgian? Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.